Hello everyone, I'm going to teach you about some GIMP tricks. And GIMP is this fun stuff, this really thin plastic that we see at camp a lot, we play with it. I have, I learned to do it at Camp Wesley Woods when I started there as a counselor and I wanted to show you a few tricks that I know with it. More so, a trick, a way to end it, and a few problems that I've come across. So let's start. We have two strands, and most of the time, um, if you've gotten one in the mail from camp, you probably already have it started, but if you get some of this on your own, you're going to want to know how to start it. So, you take your two strings and you put the ends next to each other. And you find the middle of it, right there. And the middle is what we're going to work with. So you want the ends pretty even, and you want to find the middle. What you're going to do is you're going to take the middle, you're going to make an X. So now you have an X. With that X, you're going to take the bottom color. You're going to make a loop over your hand. And you're going to hold that to the side. See how there's a loose end here that we haven't touched yet? And this end here. We're going to take the end next to the end we just moved. And we're going to flip it over. We're going to hold that one back too. I like to stick it between these two fingers. Just like that. So now I'm holding two right here. Now we take the other one of the same color and flip it over the second color. Now we have two loops and one is going over a loose end and through a loop. And we take this and go over the loose end that we just put. See how that's the loose end right there? And we go through the loop and pull it. Now the tricky part is going to be pulling it tight. Because if you let it go too fast, you're going to start to see it goes really crazy. But then if you pull it just right, you're going to see a square start to form. To where you have four little squares, making one big square. And that is how you start your GIMP. And then you're just going to do the same thing over and over again. Now, that is how I like to do my GIMP. That's how I like to do them. But I have a trick that I use occasionally. You see... This is the basic straight way. This is just going to go straight up. There's a fancy way you can make a twist. So if you watch this very carefully, if you take the normal stitch, you take a cross and bring over and over and go over and through. And that makes one stitch when you pull it tight. So if you do that enough times, you're going to get a nice long straight thing. And it's going to look cool. But what you can do sometimes if you want to get fancy and make a twist, instead of going straight over and following that color, see how I'm following that color? Just following it. Instead of doing that, you're going to bring it at an angle. And you're going to go to the other side of this one. But because you always want to go over a loose end, you have to grab the string over here rather than the string over here. So we're going to come over here and we're going to grab this one and we're going to pull it across. And then we're going to do this one. And then we're going to end with this one and pop that one through. I'll do that again. Kind of slow it down a little bit. We're going to take it from one corner to the other. So notice we're going from corner to corner. So we're going cat a corner. Again, we're going to come over and bring this one over. We're going to bring this one across to the other corner. And this is the step that may not have been clear the last time I did. Okay, This last one, the last free one, comes over the pink and under the pink. And then what you're going to get, what you're going to start to see, is you're going to start to see a neat little twist there in your thing. Now, sometimes you might do that as a mistake, and if you want to do that, and if you do that as a mistake, that's okay, you can just take it out. But the other thing you can do is then if you do one straight with that, and then do twist again, what you'll see is you're actually going to twist the other way. This way you can make a zigzag, and it could look really cool. Any of these look really cool. But, 
what you're going to see like that, again, that is bringing it like that, bringing this one over, this one, and bringing this one over and through, and pulling it tight. Now if you look, I have kind of a little bit of a zigzag going there. Okay, now, the next thing I'm going to show you is a couple tricks if you mess up. So here's a couple mistakes you might make. On this one, I'm going to make a stitch, and I might see a mistake in this one. So let's see. What happens if I accidentally have twisted this thread? You may not notice it while you're doing it. I am, I'm having to hold it to keep it from doing that because I twist them all the time and I have gotten used to working with them like that. But if you accidentally twist it when you're doing this, you might get a funky looking thing like that on the side. See how it looks twisted? And you might have already pulled it really tight. So you're wondering, huh, how do I get rid of that twist? What I like to do is I like to take the one under it and pull up and back and it should loosen it to where you can loosen all of them a little bit and just take that one and untwist it so you can pull it through untwisted and then that makes your stitch proper see all better again if I do my stitch and it goes twisted it's, it gets twisted on its way through somehow See, this stitch is now twisted. Oops. <laughs> Take, having trouble getting it to twist here, but that's okay. I'll just twist the next one. So if I have my stitch and it's twisted when I pull it tight, it's going to look like that. And you're just going to try and loosen it by kind of pulling up on all of them. And just backing it out some and taking and untwisting that string. Just pretty simple. You just want to untwist it and pull it tight again. Now another thing you might see, it might look really funky. You might have something that looks kind of like this. That doesn't look right at all. You don't have four squares. You have, I don't know what shapes those are. But what happened if you got something like this? is you went under the yellow and the green. So what that's going to look like, I'm going to undo it and I'm going to do the stitch properly. And then I'll show you. If you do what I just showed you, what you will have done is you will have come over and over and over. Now this is where it gets tricky. Because this last one goes over the loose end and through the loop. But sometimes what happens is instead of just going through the green, you go through the green and the yellow. When you do that, it ends up with that wonky look that I showed you before. Now the last one I crossed the green under a green instead of a yellow under a yellow, but the same concept applies. And all you want to do when you see something that looks like that is you want to pull it out, pull that stitch out, and redo it. But you don't have to redo the whole stitch. You can just pull out the yellow that looks funky and push it back through the proper green without going under both this time. And pull it tight. Now, In this case, I am running out of string. I'm running out of gimp. I don't have much left. I've made my little guy, and I'm running out of gimp. And I don't want to just leave it like this. I want to make a fancy ending. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a normal stitch. And it's kind of tricky when you start to get short. But let's see if I can do it. Okay, you're going to do your normal stitch going through. Then you're going to take the pink, and you're going to go around the pink, and you're going to come up through the middle. 
So you're gonna take each color around itself and up through the middle behind the other colors. So the pink one goes through, the yellow one goes through, behind, in, around the yellow, behind the pink. This one goes through. And finally, your last one goes through. And then you're just gonna pull that tight and squeeze it down against your thing. And sometimes you have to pull one at a time to make them work right. So you just kind of got to work it down and it'll look a little funky, but that's okay. It, they all come out in the end and they come out at the end and then you can just take your scissors and trim it. And that is how you finish a GIMP project. Let's see if it'll focus on it. There we go. That is how you finish a GIMP project. Okay. Bye, guys.